What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. We're actually pretty much midday right now. Uh, it's around lunchtime for me and I'm packing up the car and heading down to the racetrack for some exciting special stuff. <clears throat> it's actually the Wednesday after the race. It's happened a lot sooner than I was expecting. But got about an hour to drive down to the racetrack. We're gonna go ahead and go down there and then I'll show you guys what we're doing. So it's only been a couple of days and we're already back out here at the racetrack and over there on the actual racetrack surface, I believe is tenant track night where all the people who have garages over there are out on track. Now it might be something else, but I'm pretty sure that's what they run on Wednesdays. But I'm not here for tenant track night as much as I wish I was. Some of you guys may remember in a previous video, how actually out here at the racetrack, I got fitted for a cart seat. So that is the main reason that I'm actually out here. Let me show you what we're actually doing today. As you can see, they are taking carts out, and the carts that they're taking out are just those carts right there. But I'm not taking out just a regular cart. I'm specifically taking out that cart right there. Put the gas while hitting the black button. Uh, yeah, just at the same time, a little bit. You need to give it a little bit of throttle to fire it. So like I had mentioned, this is actually the Wednesday after the race, so it's only been two days since I was last out in the car, three days I guess. And we're actually back at the racetrack, and this is something I've been wanting to try and do for a while. I've been trying to put this together all year, and uh, you guys may remember from the video where I talked about getting fitted for a cart seat. Well, this is what I was talking about doing. The cart track is just at the top or the bottom, depending on what map you look at, uh, of the racetrack. It's attached, and it too has a bunch of configurations. This is the configuration we're doing right here. It's the full track configuration, I do believe. Now, this is my first time ever out in a high performance cart. Now, I've been out at karting centers on low performance carts before. That's not new to me. But this is the fastest, most powerful cart. This is a real cart. And this is the first time I've ever been out in a real cart. And what I was doing was I was out here to demo them and see how I liked them because if money permits, next year I really would like to run a karting season next to my racing season. As you'll see coming up here, I'm actually gonna have a spin. I got a little overzealous. Carts act very differently than cars. They don't like to break in corners. It's something I was familiar with, but it's a discipline that I don't necessarily have right now. I was able to make it out for four sessions. That's what it was scheduled for. Sessions were about 20 minutes, and I had about 30 minutes between sessions. I used that 30 minutes mostly to talk to Ayrton, who's the guy who's running this whole thing for me. Uh, he actually has a lot of experience in karting, and he's karted here a lot, as well as all over the country, so he was able to give me a lot of pointers of uh, how to improve. But since I only had 30 minutes between sessions, and I was preparing for my next 20 minute session, and I was looking to get the most out of it to really know if I like the karts, I didn't really film between sessions like I would at the racetrack. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to leave you here. We're just starting off my fastest lap in my first session. It's a stark contrast to my fastest lap in my last session. Well, my second to last session. We'll explain what happened with my last session later. But this is going to be the fastest lap from each of my four sessions as I really get to understand carts because, like I said, if this is something that I can afford to do next year, I'm most certainly going to try. Feel. It was a rattle can. Yeah, it's not a lot of stuff here to dampen things, is there? 
I've done 360s in the pit lane before. You right. recommend I try it, right? Yeah, totally. Okay. Remember, you, the parts you bring, you're taking home with you. Good. Charging your retail on them. Felt better. I got better times. Yeah, it looked good. Um, want to look at those real quick before we go out? Yeah, let me check. Because I think I was doing like 116, 115. Yeah, so right off the bat, we're like 30% closer to where we want to be in yeah. one session. So Still about 10 you seconds know, off. But... Like, yeah, I mean, okay. I'm really you'll fast. continue to get there. We're not, probably not going to get break. super so close today. Oh, but... no, I never expect to. Yeah, you're going to lose seconds <laughs> a session right now, which is yeah. awesome. Yeah, it looked really good. Rolling a little bit more speed. Committing to the gas when we get back to the gas, even if that means a little more patience, and rolling a little more speed into the corner. Just getting used to exercising the thing fully. Okay, so commit to the gas when you're on the gas, and massage into the corner. Also, line. Yeah, the line coming into there, remember, set up entry a little bit more. Everything so else looks- over. Yeah, yeah, try to get a little further over. Everything else is good for now and we can pick it apart a little bit more before your last session. Gotcha. So, yep, whenever you're ready, dude. I saw them getting them ready, so I figured I'd give you as much time. We'll do one more once they send them in, and then we'll call it a day. Sounds good. But we'll look at this in the meantime. All right, guys, fourth session. And like I said, we were going to talk about fourth session a little bit later. Well, now is later. So quickly just want to note that as you can see from the GoPro here, it's actually relatively dark. And although the track does have lights, they're currently not on. And they'll actually kick them on during the time that I'm out there during my session. Uh, but the areas of the back of the track were very dark. I think I would have been fine seeing them if it wasn't for the fact that I race during the daytime. So I have a tinted visor and I didn't expect to be out in any 
night racing conditions, but I didn't switch to a clear visor to be able to see, which put me a little bit on edge. I couldn't see the track as well, so I wasn't going fast through some of the sections that required me to go fast, as well as actually in my third session, I had a spin on the front straight at about 70 miles an hour, and uh, I had a little heart attack thinking about having to pay for the cart if I crashed it. So that put me a little bit on edge, and I started braking a lot earlier through the front section, which was amplified by the darkness, which meant that I got times that were much more similar to my second session times than to my third session times. I was hoping to get faster time in the third session, but it just wasn't in the cards for that day. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into my fastest lap here, and you guys will be able to see how dark it was, at least for the GoPro. Just keep in mind, I had a visor on. Days over. Like I said, this was going to be a slightly different video. I'm not as filming it more vlog style just because I didn't have a ton of time and it was a bunch of um, very quick rapid succession of out of the cart review, talk about it back in the cart. So there was not a lot of time to film between. We'll recap this like we did the last video where we went racing. Let's get this back to the garage and we'll talk about how it happened and what happened. All right, we're back in the garage. I kind of wanted to do this here just because it was really dark there and it was kind of hard to film. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was me going out on carts. Like I said, something I'm looking at maybe doing next year as a full karting season. The cart that I was trying out was a 100cc cart, which is, I don't know where they tier list, but they're not too far off of shifter carts. They're pretty fast carts. They can do 65, 75 miles an hour, somewhere in that ballpark. It was a good experience. I had never been in an open wheel cart, never anything that powerful. So it was definitely an experience. Now, there's disciplines that you need in a cart that are different than a car, uh, and I don't have those disciplines. Luckily, I'm pretty terrible at trail braking, so I didn't have to unlearn how to do that. But there's a lot of things about racing carts that I don't know and don't know how to do, so there's a lot that there is still to learn. I may run those next year. That was kind of more for me to see how I enjoyed them. But anyway, that was fun and exciting and something new. Um, and if we do that next year, that will be something exciting to do next year. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop running the car, just means I'm going to add karting on top of it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing um, not-so-professional kart footage, uh, and hopefully maybe some more coming up here in the future, maybe like some Super GT stuff, um, but with my own kart, because he does a lot of... Well, I don't know how his works. It's different. I've never... We don't have a program like that here. We've got a winter where we're going to have to get some stuff done with this. Um, that unfortunately. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the content, subscribe. we got a lot more coming your way. And I'll see you guys in the next video.